Howdy. Oh, this wing. Where's my game? Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Just was like, where, where the game at? Where, where the video games? I gotta renew my uh, Nintendo Switch Online subscription so I can get those Thousand Year Door avatars. Very important, I assure you. My glasses might be smugged. Might be a little smugged. Just a bit. Just a bit. Just a hair. Let me just let me just wipe those down and we'll get we'll get started. Dang old, dang old glass that I need to see. The magic glass that somehow enables me to see better. Don't know how that works, but aren't we so glad that it does. Anyway, last time out, we defeated the foot fetish dragon. And we moved on to the woods. And we met some weirdos. But that's pretty much par for this game, isn't it? Oh, battle theme. New battle theme. I forgot, do I need to use a POW block against these guys? Maybe Cooper would work, I don't know. I keep calling him Cooper. Oh, I accidentally muted the game. My bad. Yeah, yeah. This place is gorgeous. Nope, nope, nope. Stop, cut that out. Cut, cut that out. Stop that at once. I must beg you to do this. Oh. Wait, I I just realized. Gotta gotta tat tattle. Tell me what I need. What I need to know. Tell me. Tell me. That's a pale piranha. You know about these guys, the famous piranha plants. This colorless subspecies is adapted to boggly woods. Ah, the wonders of nature. If you try to jump on them, they'll totally chomp on you. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Yeah, like I said, I love that they did the whole Origami King thing with this. It's really quite lovely. Sorry, I'm just uh, checking something real quick. Just checking real quick. Uh, testing, testing, hello. Okay, uh, I don't know. I'm always like conscientious about my audio quality. I apologize. I apologize for making my OCD your problem. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. There's stylish things that I could be doing. Oh. I mean, Mario keeps getting healed. Poor old Koopa man ain't though. But yeah, giving each giving each chapter its own battle theme is a really nice touch. Oh, there's some serp. Serp back there. Don't think I didn't see it. Come on, come on, get... We need more, uh, power. Hello, Zeal.
So I need to use Power Shell. That will speed things up considerably, I think. Yeah, tear, tear it up, Koopa Man. Oh. Uh, nope, nope, not getting it so far. I feel like there's a way to do more backflips than that. Oh, messed it up, didn't do it. Oh, that's right, I got a new move I gotta show off at some point. I got a new super move. <laughs> the Emperor's new move. There, can you see it? That big tree? That's what I was telling you about. That's where we punies live. That's home. Uh, of course, it's not just us in the tree. Lots of jabbies and piters, too. Well, anyway, Mario, follow me. The pipe has a little door in it. <laughs> oh, I heard that. I heard the ding, ding, ding in the music. Oh, hey, I don't think this guy was here originally. So you got an, another shop if you want it. Mini Mr. Mini. Uh, no, I'm good on that. Well, I gotta save money, dude. The economy and all that. The economy ain't what it used to be. <laughs> Anything over here? Nope. They, they really love that they figured out how to do that. Put, put him in the background. The Great Tree. <laughs> Just with a, a big old mechanical door on it. God, this area is really so, so gorgeous looking. You can walk up the tree too, if you want. Uh, well, take a look. This door wasn't here before. Someone just installed it. And I can't open it. I thought I'd finally save everyone. I'm a fool. Hey, don't take it so hard. It does look sturdy, though. What do we do now? Uh... Uh... Hmm... 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 Got it. Mario, over here. And it makes cool little noises when you walk around, too. Long ago, the puny elder told me about a secret entrance somewhere around here. We'll get in that way. Uh, problem is, I doubt finding it is going to be easy. I mean, it won't be labeled secret entrance. Not to be a worry warrant, but how in the heck can we find a secret entrance? Well, it's hidden by this invisible thingy. We need to find and remove the thingy. But, boy, but removing a normal thingy sounds tough enough, let alone an invisible one. Uh, oh, got it, Flurry. Surely Madame Flurry's powers can help us. Flurry is a refined and dignified lady who lives in these woods. The Elder says she's a wind spirit who can wield the powers of the air with ease. You see where I'm going with this? She can use wind power to blow the thingy away. Well, it won't hurt to try. Flurry lives in the deepest corner of the woods, so... Let's head back in the direction we came from. Ah, oh, these woods are the most wonderful in the world. Yes, indeed. Building a house here was just the finest idea I ever did have. Oh my, yes. This place is so different from the bright flash bulbs of the world I'm used to. Such peace, this negative image of the real world soothes my body and soul. The 
what's even better is that I, Madame Fleury, grow ever more lovely here. Plus, those squishy, adorable punies that live in that tree are so nice to me. But I suppose if I stay here too long, I'll begin to crave hustle and bustle before long. Oh, oh my, it's actually happening even as I speak. Already I feel the need for drama. That moment of exhilaration, where the spotlight shines down on the stage, on me. Surely I was born to be an actress for the ages. It's settled then, I shall rise again. But before I make my stage comeback, I simply must whip my body and mind into shape. I'll just have to put on some makeup and make my beauty even more beautiful. Wait a moment. No! It's gone! Gone, I tell you! My! My! So she's having a problem, and we're gonna, you know, we're gonna be the ones to solve it. Because, you know, that's how it tends to go. If we head east from here, we'll see Flurry's place in no time. You made, you made me pull out the filter for that? Yeah, I didn't mean to press the, the travel distance on this shoulder button. is not very much. It is not very much, let me tell you. All right. All right. I, I need to, uh... Which was the button? Oh, it's this one. I need to, uh... Tattle this man. Oh! Oh, and there's another man with which to tattle. So... Okay, first, tattle the cleft. That's a cleft. A rockhead jerk with spikes on his noggin. What a rocker. That hard head is a major pain. Fire doesn't hurt it, but other type of items are pretty effective, usually. If nothing seems to work on it, you can always just run. Well, alright. No, wait. Fire don't work. Fire don't work. I might have to buy more POW blocks from that guy. Yeah. Ow. Okay, now tattle that man. The cloud man. Don't cloud your judgment. That's a dark puff. It's basically a tiny mean thunderhead. Sometimes it'll charge itself with electricity. Don't touch it when it does. Youch. You know what I mean, right? Bzz, shocking. After it charges itself, it'll totally zap you with lightning. Beat it as fast as you can. Oh, uh, you mean like how uh, you can do the action command? I still need to show off my new attack. Next enemy. Next enemy. Yeah, they really did, in my opinion, think about, like, what improvements they can make to this formula. Which is good. That's what you generally want to do. Okay, so let's see. What is, what is this? Earth Trimmer? Let's, let's do that. Press A with perfect timing. Well, maybe not perfect. That might be a little bit of an exaggeration. Oh, I messed it up. But this will this will be good enough. And there you go. That's what that does. I mean, that'll be useful for the clefts, I imagine. Wait, wait. Oh, there's a secret. There's a secret over here. Actually, I think you're supposed to find this, but I could be wrong. 
Ooh, star piece. Press the button. Oh, but now the pipe grows ever taller. I didn't go in it when it was short, so we didn't get to see what that looked like. Wait, hang on. Let's see what Goombella has to say about the area. Bogley Woods is a great name for this place. The trees, the flowers, even the ground boggles the mind. It's a pretty kind of boggling, though. And from a high off, a high up spot? Oh, baby, I'm talking peak prettiness. Well, I mean, we don't, we don't get to enjoy the view quite as much as Mario. Oh, nope, nope. No, okay, hang on, hang on. There we go. Uh, for some reason, I always think it's going to be the A button that you have to press. Maybe it's because you use the A button to go in the pipe. So that's why I think that. Oh, badge! Damage all enemies on the ground. Do I have any badge points to spare? I do not. Also, I never use this because I beat Hooktail the hard way. You know what? Let's let's listen to the original music for a second, just for the heck of it. Okie doke. You know what, I could, I could get rid of the super appeal, because I'm not really using that right now. But yeah, I yeah, that's not enough to really get anything else though. Yeah, I'll leave it on. But yeah, most of the music of the original game I think is pretty good. The the new versions are also good. Though I don't know, I, I feel like I still might prefer the original the original music just ever so slightly. At least in most cases. But I want to hear the new stuff, so that's what we're going to do. Ah, crap. I'm going to have to use another item, except I don't have any. Let me see if I can get uh, enough to use my attack. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna work out. Oh, yeah. Oh, but you can do that. You know, let, let, let's try to beat him that way. I think I can do it. Oh, nope. Messed up that one. Yep, there we go. But yeah, I don't have... I guess, uh, appeal. I mean, now I'm using it. Oh, yep. Yeah, I'm just pressing it a little too early. That was my problem. You know, if we appeal one more time as Coops, we might be able to... ...to do this. Yeah, there we go. Which, this seems like a bit of a waste for a, a cleft with one HP left, but... You know what, we'll do it. Yeah, 
Yeah, there we go. Overkill as all heck, but you know what? I don't care. Oh, oh, but the magic spell, the magic cube. It has appeared. I get more money. Yes. Sorcery is good. Uh, do I need a heal? Hey, you know what? Sure, I'll take a heal. Is there anything? No, wedge me in there. Okay. Is there anything in this tree? Nope. Oh, but there is a vault shroom back here. Didn't see that. And a star piece. I did see that. I didn't know what it was. It kind of looked like a potato. Oh, look at the yellow. Look at the yellow here. <laughs> you could just walk past and jump right off the cliff, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, excuse me. Um, maybe she isn't here. I wonder if she went for a walk in the woods. Woods? I don't know why I said it like that. Sometimes I talk weird, I'm sorry. Here, we'll just, we'll sit and wait on her. Or we'll stand on the chair. You know, either way. Gumbella, what do you think? What a totally nice house. Super coordination between the walls and furniture. I'm so jealous, it's not even funny. I have like no sense of interior decoration. Madam Flurry, hello. If you're here, say something. Eek. No, out of the question. You mustn't come in here. Uh, Madam Flurry, are you there? Is that you? What are you doing? Oh, wait a moment. Those darling, squishy little footsteps. Is that you, Punio? Oh, it's been an age since I saw you last. You poor dear. Is there something you need? Uh, well, the thing is, we have a problem. The Great Tree's entry hole is blocked. My puny friends are trapped inside, so they're in a pickle, and Mario needs these crystal stars. It's a train wreck, really. That's why we need you to come with us and find the secret entrance, Madam Flurry. Oh, is that all, dearie? You came all the way here just for that? My adorable little punio, you know I would do anything in my power to help you. However, lamentably, I'm in a bit of a bind myself. I just cannot come out. Wow, what's the matter? It's somewhat embarrassing, but I never go out without my favorite necklace. I just can't find the blessed thing. I suspect I dropped it on my daily constitutional. I'd be simply scandalized if anyone saw me without it, so I shan't be going out. I absolutely must have that necklace to highlight my beauty, and that's that. Oh, I totally know how you feel. When I go out, I am all about accessories. Hey, wait a sec, you lost your necklace? I'm having deja vu, big time. I swear, someone just said they found a necklace. What's that? Do speak up! You, whoever just spoke, do you have some clue as to my necklace's whereabouts? If you do, you must help me. Please, be a dear. Find it and bring it back to me. After that, I will most certainly join you and help my squishy little friend, Punio. Don't worry, Madam Flurry. I'm sure Mario can find your necklace. Word is, he's super. You can do it, right, Mario? <laughs> Great, it's decided then. Let's go find it. I'm sorry to trouble you so. Ah, uh, no, side quest. We're always doing a side quest. Actually, this is the main quest. This isn't a side quest at all. Beldum, I told you. You blamed me for losing the sketch, but you had it. Silence, you twit! Now's not the time to get hung up on stupid details. We must study this sketch. 
this Mario guy looks so manly. Check out that bussy mustache. How handsome. You know something, though, my lovelies? I swear I've seen this gentleman before. Ah, he's Mr. Mustache! Go, go. Ah, I don't believe this. Vivian, this is, without a doubt, all your fault. I'll be dealing out some strict punishment later, my dearie. Oh, yes, I promise you that. What? That's not fair. You're the one who had the... Silence, you squirrel brain! Don't you cop that insolent attitude with me! Ah, uh, this is not fair. And about that necklace, I was thinking of returning it to you, but no more! Aww. And, since you caused this problem, you have to figure out how to find this Mario chump! Oh, go. You forgot they had it. Well, congratulations. We have a cutscene specifically for you. But yeah, we gotta go back and get it. And I doubt they're gonna be happy to see me. I doubt that they is gonna wanna see Mr. Mario. <laughs> Gee, I wonder if this game is a little bit popular with people that I know. I wonder if they might like this game. <laughs> hey, you got any POW blocks? Yeah, he's got POW blocks. Yeah, I'll take, uh, I'll take two. Two POW. Just in case. The guy got a big mustache. He got a big old mustache. Oh, no, I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you right now. I do want to hit this, though. Well, if it isn't Mario! Shiny mustache or no, you can't be too bright if you came here looking for us. <laughs> and you know why? Because we were waiting for you. Oh, that's them. They're the ones who had the... Wait a minute, what? You've been waiting for Mario? What's that supposed to mean, you weirdo? <laughs> I have no quarrel with you, but I simply can't allow you to hunt for the crystal stars. And so, I'll be taking that little map of yours just as soon as I deal with you. Hey, what's your deal? How do you know about the map and the crystal stars? Have you been talking to Princess Peach or... Wait, what am I saying? The real question is, who the heck are you? <laughs> Those who seek names are often disappointed, but if you insist, we'll tell you. We are... The Three... Shadow Sister... No, she said that. Shadow Sisters. The three Shadow Sisters? Vivian, you nincompoop! What are you babbling about? It's just shadows. The three shadows. Sisters makes us sound less mysterious and less scary. How many times must I remind you? All right, sis. I'm sorry. It's just, it makes me really happy when you call me your sister, so... How insufferably sappy! Oh, you've got some fierce punishment coming your way! Aw, oh, gee whiz, I hate being punished. That's for later, though. First, we have to deal with this Mario and his friends. Let's do it, my lovelies! Marilyn! Vivian! The might of the three shadows, relation withheld, will be more than enough to win the day. Oh, okay. Grr. It's most unlucky that our sights are set on you. Well, unlucky for you, of course. Marilyn, Vivian, let's show them precisely what we can do. Go. Yes, sis. Alright, we're gonna have to... I'm gonna have to give him a smack.
That's Beldum. She's the oldest sister, the leader of the Three Shadows. But her blizzard has an attack... Attack has an attack of two. That's, that's a weird way to phrase that. She can make her partners big and make us tiny with attacks and weird magic. The worst thing about her is that sinister snicker. She sounds so totally evil. I mean, she's just the sort of person you'd want to avoid like the plague, you know? Oh, punch. Oh, I just realized Goombella has more health now. Oh. Oh, wait, wait. Yes! I didn't need it! <laughs> I didn't need it, but I got it anyway. I'm a toasty. That's Marilyn. She's one of the three shadows. Beldum's younger sister. She charges up her attacks occasionally says here she's the toughest of the sisters, so it might be best to defeat her first, huh? Other than that, she doesn't have any particularly outstanding characteristics. Ah, poor Marilyn. Always getting the short end of the stick. Ah. Uh-oh. That ain't good. Oh, that's especially not good! Oh, uh, yep, that did literally nothing. But hang on, we gotta tattle Vivian and then we'll get... No, Mini Mario Toy! Sorry. <laughs> that's one of my... That's one of my vocal stems. Which is a thing people say. Apparently. That's Vivian. The youngest of the three shadows. She doesn't seem at all that noteworthy. Uh, she's kinda cute, I guess. She might even be cuter than I am. I guess. Wow, I think I might be jealous. I, I pushed the bouton. I swear I did it. Oh, good thing Goombella has more health. Uh oh! Uh, yeah, that might not be good. That might not be good if that is allowed to continue. But here, take out, take out Beldum. Oh yeah, Goombella does, does some saucy damage. Ack! Now it's up to you! I am extremely scared of Marilyn right now. Oh, okay, that wasn't that bad, but, oh boy. Hang on, let's do- let's do this. Oh, well, that wasn't worth it. I messed it up. Yeah, the accordion. Oh! Okay, she's back to normal. Oh, cool. Uh, Man, I, I, I never guarded Vin Vivian's attack, not even a single time. <laughs> it's just, it's just not particularly telegraphed. We're so close to a level up. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> oh, maybe we were just a touch overconfident. Yep, 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 
Marilyn, Vivian, you lumps! We would have won if you two pulled your weight! Both of you, prepare for a world-class punishment session when we get home! Oh, but the necklace... Leave it! Alright, now just take this back to Flurry and we're good to go. Yeah. That's for Flurry's necklace. Yes, let's take it to her. Mm, you okay? Let us re-embark across the land, searching far and wide. I swear you can do more backflips. I don't know how to do it. I don't know what the timing is. Unless you press B or something. Yes! Eat, poop, and die! I probably need to do a power smash for that to work. Let me smash. Yeah, there we go. Very satisfying. And you know what we're doing? You know what we're doing? We're doing more badge! I am putting all my eggs in the badge basket. Okay, next time I probably ought to do FP, but for now I'm doing badge! Everybody loves badge. Okay, now I could put the quake hammer on. I could have partner heals. Didn't I have an attack that like ignores defense? Or was that just something I looked at? I guess I didn't buy that. Or I forgot what it was, I don't know. Whatever. Wait, do I have more points? I didn't even think, I just put that- yeah, I have one more. Yeah, we'll put that on, why not? Okay, back to Flurry. This is the trees on- yeah. Gotta wa gotta walk back that way. Backtracking, girl. How dare you backtrack me? How dare you pad out the game? Ah, uh, no. Let me go in the loading zone as a plane. <laughs> let me do it. Go, go, go. Yeah, get in there. Are these pipes supposed to be made out of wood? Yeah, that, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Wood into it. Wood, not it. Oh, I didn't mean to do it twice. Is there something back here? Nope. Okay. Me, me. When, oh when, will I see my precious necklace again? Oh, you delightful fellow! You found my necklace! I'm beside myself, truly! But, you still mustn't see me. Please leave the necklace by the door and wait a moment. Oh, yeah. oh splendid! Splendid! My oh-so-ravishing necklace! I'm a wash in joy. Uh oh. It is time for sex. <laughs> Cloud boobs. This is a real design they put in this game. Oh, oh, my word. 
Mario, isn't it? Are you my heroic little necklace hunter? Well, my, 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 aren't you a fine specimen of a man? Yes, indeed. I simply must thank you for your graciousness. But how to do it? Hmm, perhaps if I grabbed you and gave you a little sugar? <laughs> Here I come, handsome. Time to give you a proper thank you. Pucker up. Oh, Mario, you are just the cutest little thing I've ever laid eyes on. Yes, you are, and that's that. So tell me, are you truly looking for the crystal stars? The very same crystal stars spoken by all the lowlifes in Roadport? Hmm, a danger-filled search for beautiful jewels. How absolutely marvelous. And here I was thinking how frightfully bored I was. It's time for a change. And besides, I do declare, that plush mustache of yours has completely swooned me. A man as manly as you must attract all sorts of trouble, and I want to keep you safe. So I dare say I'll be joining you on this little adventure. I assume that's fine, Mario. Flurry's abilities. Press X and Flurry will exhale strong gusts of wind. She's a real blowhard, is what we're saying. <laughs> if she blows in the direction of an enemy, she can make its head spin for a bit. Whoa, my head is spinning! Well, actually, just all of him is spinning. Oh, yep, that, yeah. Blow. They've set it from suck to blow. This is wonderful. It's so nice that Flurry likes you, Mario. Really, it's great. And even more importantly, Flurry's chosen to join us. Let's go to the Great Tree. Yeah, so... Flurry's back sprite kind of looks a little weird to me, to be honest. But, you know, I'll, I'll get over it. I'll live. I mean, her front. <laughs> oh, well, okay, they kept her. They kept her boobs doing that. <laughs> Actual design they put in a Mario game, by the way. I mean, I guess there was Valentina before her. <laughs> Why does paper have boob physics? Don't worry about it. Do not even worry about it. Yeah, so let's see what she can do in battle. They so got body slam and gale force. Oh, you gotta, you gotta, oh, you gotta aim her. Now, what are her stylish timings? I have literally no idea. Oh, yes! Yeah, suck on it. Suck on it, cumulonimbus bitch. Cumulonim bitch. Ah. Ah. No. Oh, RDM premiere issue. Well, I gotta read that. Rogueport today, bringing you all the up-to-the-moment news as it happens. I got a spam email! We have the details of yet another incident at the parlor in West Rogueport. Outraged by the high Pianta prices, Goomfree is suspected of violently shaking the Pianta Changer, causing the Pianta Changer's alarm to sound, which led to the Pianta Changer seeking to function for a brief period. The parlor was forced to close down temporarily. How many times can we say Pianta Changer in... 10 seconds. The victim was quoted as saying, I am a machine. No matter how hard I am shook, I feel no pain. In interview. <laughs> oh wait, sorry. 
I am a machine. No matter how hard I am shook, I feel no pain. In interview. I gotta do it. I got the bit crush. Shop reporter, go. Get all the hottest shopping news about the latest shopping spots in the world. Or the, the hottest. Did I say the latest? I, I get the gist of the, the text. You know, like... Like 90% text accuracy. Maybe 80. If Petalburg's your destination, you can't miss the shop that's been the talk of the town for the last 20, 20 years. Nifty's shop. The friendly owner has long been thought to be dead. No, wait. To be the most eligible bachelor in town. But word is he's secretly in love with the girl at the inn. The wife- You're publishing this in the- in the email? The wise and witty shopkeeper had this to say. You only live once, so enjoy it while you can! Shop now at good old Nifty's shop! Actually, he was probably one of the ones with mustache. Cooking for rookies. Interested in cooking, but don't know what to cook? Try our chef's delicious suggestions. Today, today's yummy recipe, mushroom fry. Just season your mushrooms, saute them up, and they're ready for the dinner table. Editor's note. We hope you enjoyed RDM's premiere issue. You can look forward to f future editions coming your way soon. Published by the Rogueport Restoration Committee. I like that Peach has her own icon. Professor Frankly doesn't get an icon, what gives? Oh, hey, Battlemaster. Oh. Frankly couldn't figure out how to upload a, p a profile picture. Yeah, you know, that honestly kind of tracks. Okay, let me, let me learn when her timing is. Practice moves. Yeah. Okay. What is your timing? I didn't see anything. Do it again. Okay, it's right when you land. That makes sense. No, let me, let me try it. Let me try it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now, th does this have a timing? It probably does. And yeah, just right at the end. Okay. Simple. Makes sense. Adds up. Need anything else, kid? How old is this dude? I mean, Mario's only 25, so... If this guy is any older than that... Yeah, froggy. Yeah, I see that. I see that. Ooh, maximum FP by 5. So, see, the thing is, if you got enough badges, you don't even need... You don't even need... Y you feel me? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. You you f you understand what I'm saying? Okay, not right there. I think it's right here. Yeah. I love that gag. That's the secret entrance. We can finally get inside. Here I go. <laughs> Simpsons joke. <laughs> the great boggly tree, formerly Chuck's. Aunt Puny is just the most precious little things. Mario, I feel I must ask. Did you know that I used to be a rather famous actress? I was a diva of the stage. I was known as Madame Flurry the world over. But the filthy air outside the spotlight repelled me, so I came to the woods. And soon enough, I glimpsed the beauty of these punies and their pure little hearts. 
It reminded me of my own innocence as an actress, and that made me realize. I shall ever love the stage. I must feel the spotlight shine on me again. I must! As you can see, these dear little punies help me find my true self. That's why I must help them however I can before I go on my own adventures. Mario, can you hear me? Check it out. I was able to open it from the inside. Come on, over here. The time has come for me to repay my debt to the punies. Come along, Mario. Let's go on in. The Great Deku Tree. Uh, hmm? Weird. Normally everyone's right here. What the hey? Hey, Elder! Everybody, come out! Hello? Uh-oh. I say in a high-pitched voice. Why? Who are you guys? How'd you get in here? Whoa, dude, is that... Isn't he that Mario guy? What? He is? We better get him then. But dude, Lord Crump told us to tell him immediately if we found Mario, remember? You idiot, use your head. If we capture him, we'll get all the credit, man. Duh. Oh yeah, right on. Let's rock this chump. One, two, three, break! Okay. Wait, anyway, I can use the quake hammer. I didn't get the stylish timing. That's all right. I'll live. I will live. Oh, we got the multi bonk. Oh yeah, it's because I leveled her up. Right. That's an X knot. Says here it's classified as a enemy combatant. That description stinks. You mean, you think it means they're just low-level foot soldiers? They drink these potions that make them all big and burly, and then they attack. One's easy, but if there's two or more, better watch out. Use your partner's moves and items to take them down. Yes! Eat poop! Consume the fecal matter! But do so in hell! Which is where I'm sending you! C crud That stung, man! Dude, maybe reporting back to Lord Crump isn't such a bad idea after all. Pretty slick work handling those guys, Mario. Seriously, way to go. But the question remains, where did everybody go? What could possibly make everyone leave? Finally, somebody shows up. What are you doing hiding back there? Come out for Pete's sake. I found us a powerful ally. He, he's huge. Uh, are you sure your huge mustachioed man won't try to eat us? Uh, hey, who's that? Who else is back there? <laughs> He's massive. I don't like him. He'll crush us. Danger. Nice stash. It scares me. So burly. Now, don't worry, everyone. This is Mario, and he's our friend. He's here to help. All those bad guys? Mario will stomp every one of them, just like those last goons. Is this it? There are so few. Well, we'll have to make do. Let me formally introduce Mario. Wait! How do we really know this burly fellow is our ally? He might be one of them. Puniper, what are you saying? He's not one of them. 
Listen, we can all fight alongside Mario and chase those goons out of here. We can take back our tree. Ah, uh, big bad Punio, listen to yourself, trying to sound all important like. You have no idea the kind of troubles we've been through while you've been gone. Why are there so few of you here anyway? What happened to everyone? Well, they've been captured by those goons. The Elder, everybody, including your sister. What? Petuni? Everyone was captured and taken somewhere within this big tree. They said it was because we wouldn't tell them where to find some crystal thing. We told them we'd never heard of it. Oh. Well, that absolutely tears it. We've got to go look for them all right away. What are you saying, Punio? We can't do anything to those giant goons. And adding this hairy old man to our ranks won't help a bit. How can you say that? You don't know that. We have to try, don't you see? Think about it. If we all get together, we can take on anyone, anywhere. So who's with me, huh? Come on, everyone. Let's pool our strength. Ah, oh, Punio, Punio, Punio. You'll have to convince me, because I think you're losing it. Tell you what, you and Mr. Mustache there can get the revolution started. If you can free our friends who got locked up somewhere in the tree, then I'll join your little crusade. Ha! Like that'll ever happen! Please. Fine, we'll show you. Right, Mario, right? Come on, follow me to glory. Let's go help them. Okie doke. That's Puniper of the Punies. He sure is big for a puny. Too bad his head is big too. Uh, what do you mean? Like the whole thing is head. <laughs> there is no separation. Um, mm, I don't have any star, any flower thing, majig. But I don't think I don't want to spend the coins just to get that. Also, hello, Greeny. Tan. Okay, bush. There's another one that I can't do anything with. I'm gonna have to like do a lot of backtracking in order to get these these panels. <laughs> Die! Okay, I think I am going to use Sweet Treat to get my FP back. Maybe I should have waited until I took some damage. Oh well. Yeah, give me some foop. Give me some foop. Zeal is playing Nintendo 64. A yucks. That's a yucks. It says here it's a creature created in the x Not Labs. According to this, it attacks and items won't affect it if it has mini yucks around it. So if any mini yucks appear, take those out first. Duh. Oh, nope, didn't do it. I mean, I probably got to tattle the mini. Y yeah, there it is. Oh, the power! The power of God! Oh, okay, I'm just ludic ludicrously strong for no reason. Didn't really need it, but thank you. Yeah, mini yucks. Yucks, that thing is disgusting. That's a mini yucks, a creature made to protect a yucks. It can split in two. Seems like they won't attack directly. These twerps are the reason you sometimes can't do any damage to the main yucks. They're a pain, but you have to beat them before the yucks. Flurry's pretty effective. Oh. 
Uh, okay. I'm starting to get the hang of that. Starting to get the hang of it. Okay, don't- don't split. Oh no, he split! I told him not to do that. Okay, so do I still have the power? No, the power was taken from me. Oh, wait. Yeah, you see? You see? I am the bingo master. There we go. Oh wait, what do you gotta say about this? We're inside the great tree. Looks like lots of tufts of vegetation around here. Stuff could be hidden in those things, so let's make sure to check each one, okay? Yeah, sure, that's not tedious at all. Okay. I got the mayonnaise. I mean, what's going on with this tree? It's like an aquarium. <laughs> okay, let's let's take these guys out as soon as possible. You notice all the you notice all the X knots in the crowd. Y'all alone, pal. What you gonna do? Oh. You're gonna get through my super guard. That's what you're gonna do. It's funny that Goombella is currently stronger than Mario. <laughs> because Mario don't get no more strong until he puts on a badge or like he finds something. Okay, first I gotta- I gotta check. Nope, nothing back there. Elder. Punio, is that you? You're looking well. Why are you so calm, Elder? You're trapped, and I, this is our daring rescue of you. Oh, a rescuing, is it? Well, thanks, I suppose. Those are quite exciting. But I think you ought to help the other punies before you rescue me. Where are the others? Big Brother? Is that my punio? Petunie, thank heavens. You're here. You're safe. I knew you'd come for me, punio. I just knew it. Of course I would, dear sister. And I brought us a mighty ally. Look at him. We're going to get you out of there right away, I swear. Just hold on tight a second. Okay. Mario, listen. We gotta find the cell keys or we're going nowhere. I mean, I can, I can go into the cell. Does that help? Hello, Zero. Zero Genitor. Z. The artist formerly known as Janitor. That's Punio's sister, Petuni. She really cares about her brother. I mean, you could just feel her love for him. I feel totally awful that she's all trapped in here. Let's hurry up and help her and the rest of them, okay? There's so much flavor text. And go in the red cell. That's the elder that Puniper mentioned. You gotta be real old to be called elder. Being trapped in here can't be good for her health. Let's hurry up and help her. Okay. A 
golden leaf floor. <laughs> Man, this is brutal. How much longer till we find that stupid crystal star? Not even those puny punies we captured know anything about it. And they live here! And worst of all, I got stuck holding onto this stupid cell key. <sighs> so bored. Feels like a big old nap is in my near future. Um, ouch. Oh, well, isn't this a treat? We must stop meeting like this, don't you think? Hey, stop right there, Missy. You're thiev that thieving girl we saw before. What are you doing here? Well, anyway, I heard there was nice badges to be found here, so I came looking. <sighs> oh, she did it again! <laughs> but who cares about that? Lovely to see you again. Ew, not another smooch. This flirting is out of control. The precious crystal star you're looking for is beneath this tree, underground. Good luck finding it before the others. <laughs> what are these, what are these like noises they want me to make? <laughs> is it like, <laughs> like that? Take care, my handsome stash superstar. Let's get together again real soon. I can't believe that girl. Ugh, I can't stand her. Ah, uh, my aching. Hey, you! You're the dirtbag who hit me from behind, aren't you? Yeah, real fair, you scum. You fight dirty, you get dirty. And I'll be doing the dirting. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I got a red key. There's there's a map. Uh they got their logo. Got some mayonnaise paint buckets. Paint buckets full of mayonnaise. Mayonnaise cans full of paint. Ooh, that's, that's a good item. That is a good quality item right there. Everything in this game is shiny. Every single thing. Elder, we're back. We're here to rescue you. Foolish child! Punio, sit down this instant and keep your mouth shut! Huh? What? Why? What did I do? Uh, listen, Elder, I don't know why you're mad, but we came here to help you. Stop your mumbling, you! And mind your elders, you whelp! How could you abandon your pure, poor sister and run off like that? Absolutely shameful! But, but Elder, I just went to find help to help rescue you. Oh, stop it with the whining! You never interrupt an elder mid-lecture! Never! You wonder why the other punies call you a doofus sometimes? That's why. Uh this is- there's a lot of abuse going on in this game. A lot of... A lot of abuse. And your time to be a doofus is over, because you have to lead our puny tribe one day. That day is not fair off. Far off. And that is why you need to listen. Now, first of all... Several hours later... Or else, you got that? From now on, you got to get your act together, Punio. Yes, Elder, yes, I understand. Bah! Only answer once! But say, by the way, why are you here anyway? Uh, I was just telling you, we came to rescue everyone. We started with you, Elder. Oh, is that so? Well, good. In that case, get me out of here already. Cry many. This cell is cold, which isn't good for the old back. And there's this damn stench. Uh, well, there she goes. Enough standing around. Just you wait, Petuni. Petuni. I'll be right back for you. Okay, big brother. I'll be waiting. 
We need to find the blue key. Blue key too, right, Mario? Let's go downstairs and ask the elder if she knows anything. And hope the answer is, you know, brief. Banjo the blue key. Ah, uh, yeah, clown music. Get in there, get in there. Okay, give her a save. Well, if it isn't Punio. Hmm, you heard me. Hmm. I can't say I expected you to manage to rescue the elder. I told you I could do it. Don't get a swelled head. This doesn't mean I'll accept you as our leader. And it definitely doesn't mean I completely trust that mustache guy either. For starters, you still haven't rescued the other punies yet. I'm not lifting an antenna to help until you do. You stubborn mule! Despicable! How dare you talk like that knowing what we're up against? The weirdo soldiers taking over our tree were bad enough, but now the Jobby tribe is helping them. We must stand together now. We must face them. Don't you understand that? What? The Jobbies and the intruders have joined forces? Then maybe the Jobbies have the blue key. Shut your chap, Puniper and Punio. And mind me, you hear? You'll help Mustachio here. What'd you say your name was again? Was It was, a uh, it was Marty, wasn't it? It's Mario. He's Mario. I mean, she, she's only world famous, come on. Yes, yes, simmer down you. And everyone else, help Martio clear out of our tree. Or clear out our tree, or whatever. Uh, all right, Elder, whatever you say. I'm not heartless or anything. To tell you the truth, I'm worried about Petuni too. And you're right, we have no choice. We must fight, right everybody? go my punies that's the spirit thanks you guys hey if you're done rallying everyone I have a question we're looking for this crystal star thingamajig ever heard of it the crystal star eh hmm yes perhaps Hidden down, down, down beneath the bottom of this tree is a funny colored stone. But what do we, what do we do with it? Oh, right. Uh, yeah, what do we do with it? I, I thought I messed that up, but I didn't. Oh, right. Guard it from evil and give it to a pure heart. That's what generations of elders have been taught. Might be the crystal star. Marty, or Martio, I'm, I'm calling it. Your heart seems pure enough. So that funny colored stone is yours. I don't quite see how just yet, but I bet all of this is connected to us getting our tree back. You got all that, Martio? Crystal star underneath the bottom of this tree. Go to it. Oh, hold your horses. I forgot something. Before you can get the crystal star, you must save all of the captured punies. Yep, you'll never get to that gym without the help of the punies. Not a chance. So here, you'd better take this. It's the puny orb. It's the symbol of our leader. The unmatched power of the sun! If you place this in the pedestals you see around the tree, the punies will gather. Just remember to take out the orb when you're done using it. Because, well, if you don't, everyone will just kind of hang around the orb and stare at it. All right, guys, let's go rescue everybody. All right, welcome to Pikmin. Oh, and one more thing. One more thing. So sorry, so sorry. I've been awfully forgetful as of late. On your way to the Crystal Star. If you lose any of the punies, just come see me. What I'll do is, I'll give a whistle to call them back here. You got all that? Okay, welcome to Pikmin. 
Except the Pikmin are like little teardrop fleas, or whatever you want to call those guys. I don't know. But now, place them upon the pedestal. And now, it sinks slightly, and creates a new pipe. Oh look, a new pipe! Come on, let's jump in! Okay, they, they're- they're having a- they're having a whole... A whole rave over there. Flea rave. Okay, I don't know what this leads to. Oh wait, 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 we gotta kill him, man. Murder is the most important. Do you know someone who owns a gun? Kill your brother, your sister, your mom, your dad, your priest, your rabbi. Cause guns are toys. Okay, and now we may open the door. We may open the door. Okay, so you want to do that, and then you want to stand here. And you want to uh, give him a- give him a blow. Yeah, you gotta get him across the gap. Is that it? Is that all of them? That might be all of them. Okay, y'all just hang out here one sec. I want to check down here. Oh, yep, and good thing I did too. Good thing I did. Uh, Goombella, what do you guys say about down here? Bubbles keep floating up from the water at the bottom. Weird. That door on the left is interesting too. Yeah, yeah, I, I did that, yeah. What kind of water is this? Is it like bubble soap water? Oh, lightning. Thunder rage. Stop trying to make thunder rage a thing. I bet you there's a star piece down here somewhere. I bet you. Anyway, we got it. Further into the tree. We're going to get to the root of this problem. Spoder! The spoder cometh. Okay, but I need to know. I need to know the spider information. Look this man up on www.spider.com. That's a piter. Ick, they gross me out. Ew. Besides its normal attacks, it might spit three web wads at you consecutively. You better have good timing if you want to guard against its attacks. It also says here that punies can't stand piters, so I'm not the only one. Just the sight of these things make punies flee in terror. I know how they feel. Ow. Ow. Oh, he shoots many times. Okay, that time he only did it the one time, which is awfully suspicious. Oh, no, I didn't- I was distracted. Oh, well. Okay, it didn't make any of these dudes, like, fly off the cliff, did they? No, they're still here. But there's a movable thing. 
Can, is this something Flurry can get rid of? Yes, it is. But, but wait, what's down here? I need to know. Oh. Yep, Shine Sprite. We definitely want it. I swear there's a way to do more backflips. I'll have to look into that. Okay, now let us kill. Let us kill this man using the fat lady. Because it ain't over till she sings. Ooh, mushroom. Is there anything back here? Nope, not really. No, I don't want... I'm trying to... Well, what is this? What is this pipe? Where does this go? Mario, that was a jobby. And I was right, they have the key to the blue cell. Our tribes have been enemies for a long time now. Every time we meet, we fight. A lot. And now we know they're helping the intruders and trying to seize the tree. But I used to get along with Job Jobble. He's of the Jobby tribe. The Jobble I knew would be hiding some hiding somewhere right now, not wanting to fight anyone. I wonder if even Jobble is my enemy now. Well this seems like progress, so I wanna go the other way. Yeah, suck it. Because I, I want that shine sprite. Give it to me. Yeah, and see, that's what you do. You do this right here. It's a secret. It's a sea crest. But now I gotta go back up and get these guys. And then we must engage in glorious combat. Nope. Eat poop. No wait, you're a plant. You probably like to eat poop, don't you? You sick, you sick piece of crap. What's over here? Oh, oh. Well, we lost a couple. What's over here? Well, I mean, hmm. I don't I don't know if I should go in here. Oh. Ah, I don't have Everyone, it's the Jobbies. It's a 100th Jobby Squadron. Uh, charge! Come on, Mario! No, no, we're not- we're not doing that. We're not doing that. We are not doing that, Mac. Okay, what- what down here? You know, Punio suggested a shop would be hiding somewhere around here. Might be good for us to find it if you need any items, yes? Is- a very subtle hint. Very, very subtle hint. <laughs> Was that in the original? I feel like it wasn't. 
but I also remember never seeing this shop, so maybe it's, maybe it's good. Maybe it's good that she tells you. The shop's hard to spot. Thought I've been in here hiding from those goons this whole time. But those fiends have been searching high and low for something inside this tree. What could they be looking for? You have any idea? Hey, it's Jobble. Why are you hiding back here? Oh, a jobber? Not good. That little fella's gonna get mixed up in my stock. But I suppose I can't go disciplining him. He's still just a kid after all. Oh, what a precious little thing. He hasn't done anything wrong. Mario, we simply must go easy on the poor dear. Okay. Oh, what ails you, my little pudding pie? He seems so lonely, doesn't he, Mario? Why, he looks like I do when I step into the spotlight and then forget my very first line. Oh, hold up now. You know what? I believe he might wish to join us. I'd heard the rumors from Madame Flurry to them jobbies. Yeah, the word is out. Mario can win over the hearts of anyone and everyone. I tell you, as a people person and a salesman, I must say I'm more than a little jealous. He's... he's a little man. He's a little baby man. <laughs> That's Pungent, the manager of the shop. Weird place for a shop, if you ask me. But since we're here, I guess we could buy something. Yeah, okay, okay, I'll buy an ice. Oh, wait. I got too many item. Uh, I want a store. I want to store the Ultra Shroom, because that's way more health than I need right now. And I'll store the in coupon as well. Okay, we'll buy an ice from this man. Okay. Thank you very much. Now we gotta get them fellers back. There we go. There's a door we can't go through. Hit the bush. Okay. Hit the bush sounds like a really weird slang term for going to bed and or masturbation. I'm not sure which. I'll, I'll leave that up to you to decide. Everyone, it's the Jobbies. It's a ten Jobby squadron. Uh, let's get him. Come on. Kill! Kill! Hit him with the hammer. Well, we did it. We defeated every last Jobby here. Now we have to destroy the Jobby Hive Fortress. Huzzah! Hey, there's water running through the inside of the Great Tree. You don't think, could this be how the tree just carries nutrients from roots to limb? You know, nature is just about the coolest thing ever. I mean, yeah, I think that's how trees work. Okie dokie. Artichokey. Ah, the blue key. Yes, with this key, we should be able to open the cell my people are locked in. Hurry, we have to free my sister and the others. Okie dokie. There's like a mysterious statue. They got their own statues and everything. You think they built that themselves, or were those already here? I don't know. I, I like to imagine them building them. Because it's very, it's very funny to me. 
and they'll never come back, and that's that. And what's gonna happen to us, and... Hey, by the way, what's that thing you've been holding on to so tightly? It's a mushroom. Oh, uh, not to be, you know, rude, but it looks all dry and wrinkly and gross. Yeah, yeah, I know. I picked it so I could give it to my brother to eat. But then I got captured and stuck in here, and after a few days, it dried out. Oh, really? Great story. Anyway, don't worry so much. All my complaining aside, I'm sure Punio will return. Except for the fact we're all gonna die. I mean, like I was saying. You know, I, I've seen a pattern in real life that looks exactly like the floor here. Wait, where'd they go? Where'd they- did they die? Or did I just lose them? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, they got caught on the thing. Yeah, pick men moment. <laughs> pick moment. That's a portmanteau, son! That's a wordplay! You get two words, you put them together! God, can you like, go away? Oh god, why is there so many of them? You know what? I am going to fire this man. You fired. Uh, that wasn't quite as effective as I would have hoped. You know what? You fired again. Would you like to be rehired? Well, you fired again. That's the kind of business I'm running. That's the kind of boss I am. A slow mushroom. Okay. That seems cool. Cool drop. Cool item. You know, is is the map to the Crystal Stars just our board game taped to a piece of paper? Ah, oh, crap, not this again. Well, actually, I think I can just go down. Well, no, they won't go down. They refuse to go down. They refuse to get down. Which is a shame, really, because... Mario, however, gets down a little too much. Frankly, it's a little annoying. Luigi's looking for another house. Okay, now, I forgot what the quickest way to the jail cell is. But we can save. Get a quick save in there. Just a real quick save. Just real quick. Just squeeze that in there. Real quick. I don't know why I'm belaboring this point. I don't know, we'll get to the jail one way or another. Ev eventually. Eventually. A lot of Spongebob references this stream, which knowing me, you should absolutely be surprised by. There are many ways to get to jail. I didn't think we'd get Mrs. Puff out of jail this fast. Petunia, I'm back. We brought the key. We're opening the cell right now. Haha, <laughs> says you, sucker. I'm leaving with the key. No, I'm kidding. I left the chipmunk voice on for that. <laughs> Big brother. Little Petuni. Are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? Nope, I'm fine. Thank heavens. 
Hey, big brother, I have something for you. I meant to give you this sooner, but... Mushrooms are your favorite, aren't they, big brother? But... Well, this one kind of got dried out. Oh, nasty. Big brother? It was icky, wasn't it? I'm sorry. No, not, not at all. Mm, mm, delicious. You're very... <laughs> very... very oh, mm, yummy. Big brother, you okay? Give me a hug. Hug me, brother. <laughs> hey, quit it, Punio. Come on. Don't get all mushy. Everyone's staring. Them big ol' eyes. Well, it's just a really sweet gesture, that's all. Oh, it was nothing. 90 punies have joined your party. Now there are 101. How do they hug, though? Don't worry about it. Oh, look. Now it's truly a Pikmin party. And also, there's a jobby in there. You know, just for... The, you know, the the diversity inclusion. <laughs> okay. Now, where did we need these guys? There was that one jobby room. That we need to get to. Uh oh. Okay, grab that. Honk. Honk. I hope there's not a, a, a spider here still. There isn't. The enemies stay dead. Thank the good heavens. I'm sorry, just watching like a hundred of these dudes trailing behind Mario is so funny. I don't know, it just- there's something- something about it just tickles me, you know? Oh, no! See, I'm wasting a little bit of time. The reason for this is I am an idiot. Okay, but I think I'm gonna have to kill these spiders before I can get through here. Yeah, so I gotta, gotta do some extermination. Can I do this? Yep, one damage to each of them. Death to all of them. The sorceress has come to bless me with more power. More power that, you know, it, it, if, if, if it would, had been when the, pa the battle started, you know, that would have been a lot more useful, but I mean, thanks anyway. I mean, I don't want to sound ungrateful. But I guess I am a little ungrateful. <laughs> God, why is there 300 of these things? Oh yeah, that's true. I, d I did pay for that. Technically, that is true. Now, if this was a freeware sorcery, then yeah, I I'd feel a little bad complaining about that. But you know, this is a paid... This is a paid spell. And I just, I just want to get my money's worth, really. Oh, 
Yep, messed it up. That last one is where it gets a little tricky. The rest are basically free, but it gets a little tricky at the end there. But now I'm out of juice. But I mean, you gotta use your juice at some point. You gotta, you gotta. It is mandatory. How do I get this? Wait, hang on, hang on. Okay, no, it's not that. Oh no, there was a mushroom down here and I missed it. I done missed it. Where are they all? Oh, they're probably still up there. I want to get the I want to get the block. How do I get the block? Maybe I got to come back with something. It's not impossible. Well, let me see. Let me see. No. No. Okay, I'll come back. I'll come back for this. I mean, I don't think Coops can do anything. Okay, but we, we must engage in more war now. We must advance on these wars. I'm helping. I'm helping. I'm helping with my big old mallet. I don't think this did not end well. Oh, oh, wait, oh, yeah, hint. Hint. Also, I, li I love the juxtaposition of, uh, <laughs> the hive with an alarm coming out of it. Ah, blow him away. Which is like a, a Batman wind villain would have that line. They would say, like, you really blow him. You blow me away, Batman. Well, we beat him. We KO'd every last job he here. Now let's destroy it. Yeah. Yeah, he said that before. Repeat dialogue. Mr. Freeze, he was wind themed. You know, what if there was like a mister for each of the elements? Uh, damn it, not Mr. Earth again. Get ready to have your world rocked, Batman. Oh, I hate you people. Can't you just rob a bank and be done with it? <laughs> No wait, that was a that was a good thing. Oh wait. Oh she kissed him. Oh, it was a good thing and I shoot it away. Dang it, Flurry. I'm gonna blame this all on you. Does it will this hurt you? I hope not, but it might. It does, yes. Okay, that counts as a stomp. Okay, that I wanna block though. The X-Man, which, you know, it's another superhero. I'm gonna turn this fan off. My legs are cold. Ah, oh, he attacked me while I was getting my fan turned off. He ate in my own dojo. Oh, we're close to another level. That's gonna be fun. Wait, hang on, there's bush. Okay, the punies don't react to being hit with a hammer. Coops does, but the punies do not. See, they have evolved to be able to withstand hammer in the wild. 
Is there anything behind the pipe? Yes, there is. That's why you always gotta look behind the pipe, kids. I check, I check under my bathroom sink every single day. There hasn't been anything there yet, but there could be! By God, there could be. Just you wait. Oh, you can double stylish. Oh, Luigi's here. Hey, bro. Hey. Hey, bro. Oh, Luigi came to Mario's recital. Isn't he supposed to be on an adventure, though? I mean, he, he can find time for Mario. He's very responsible. He's, or maybe he's irresponsible. I don't, I don't know. Luigi strikes me as a mixture of both. Okay, like I said, I would. I will focus on FP this time. Because we need a little bit. Also, we were we were due for a, a refill. But yeah, I'm definitely going to go pretty heavy on badge points this playthrough. Because it's just a lot of fun. It's just a lot of fun. Because you get to mix and match. Yeah, this looks legit. Uh-oh. Uh, huh? What? Just happened. I love- I love that his theme has like the Atari 2600 Pac-Man noise in it for some reason. Man, you guys are this. Brilliant little trap, huh? And boy, you fell- you- did you- Man, you guys are dense. Brilliant little trap, huh? And boy, did you bite on it. I saw you sticking that silly stone on the pedestals, so I made a fake one. Awesome. I mean, I knew it was great, but seeing you fall for it really gives me a warm fuzzy. Buh, buh, buh. Talk about complete idiots. You guys are so dumb it hurts. Anyway, with you fools out of the picture, I can take my time hunting a crystal star. Buh, buh, buh. Mario, what do we do? Uh, we have to find a way out of here. But what can we do? You heard me. Hm. Unbelievable. You got fooled by a painfully obvious trap. Boy, this just isn't right. Let's do something before my claustrophobia sets in. Mario, think of something. I'm counting on you. I will go in the pipe. Wait, you see those? I'm pretty sure we've seen columns like those before. Oh, God, I don't remember the order of these stupid things. <laughs> but there's a star piece behind the pipe. Oh, I see, I see. Huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa. The tree just shook. What was it? An earthquake? Okay, so sun, moon, puny star. Alright, so if I go over there... I will find good things. Oh, see you, Miles. So 
sun, moon, puny star. God, where, where in, where in here was that? Was it was across from here, I think. So I, I, I don't think it's too far away. Oh, I still really want to get that box, though. Can I have it? Okay, okay, okay. And they unfold to reveal the secret passage. What could be inside the secret passage? Could it have to do with this? Probably. Oh, big old chest. Not a cursy one this time. Not a cursy one. Boot! Okay, good. They still play the song. Hey there, I'm Toadette. Congratulations on getting the super boots. You'll be able to use a new jump technique now, so let's practice, okay? If you press A at the right moment when jumping, you'll do a spin jump. The trick is to press A right after you jump. Yep, ground pound. Wow, that was perfect. You're a natural. Are you clear on the controls? Yep. Also, I like that she kept her red shirt. Okay, that's just super. Looks like you mastered the spin jump. They, they were really, like, big on keeping the designs exactly the same. Like, they didn't... I, they didn't update any of them. Which, granted, I'd prefer they do that than update them all in a way that makes me hate myself and them and the world. You can smash through spots like this with your spin jump. Oh, who could have seen that coming? Oh, one, one more thing. You can use a spin jump in battle, too. Your attack power for jumps has been boosted as well, so enjoy the next time you're in a battle. Well, I hope to see you again soon. Good luck on your adventure. Compl she's completely irrelevant to the plot. She, she literally does not exist in the plot. <laughs> Toadette is a meta-narrative meta construct. Ooh. Ah! Wait, hang on. I want to check. I want to check behind stuff. Gotta weave. Gotta wob and beave. Isn't she at the juice bar in Glitzville? Oh, I don't remember. Maybe she is. But it's funny to think that she only exists to give a tutorial. Toadette was pretty n was pretty new at the time. Like, like when did Double Dash come out? That was. Toadette's first appearance was in Double Dash, if I recall correctly. Good God! I'm gonna poop. Double Dash was 2003. So yeah, just a year before this. So yeah, they they, they want, like the Piantas, they wanted to put her in stuff. Got this new character that we want to like put all over the place. Now, Piantas don't show up no more. Well, okay, that's not true, but they don't show up like they used to. They do- they did show up in Mario Kart 8, though. They had the Sunshine Airport or whatever it was called. Ooh, a charge badge. That- I don't know if I'll put that on right now, but that- ooh, it's only one. Hmm. Is there anything that I could- I'm gonna take this off now. Is there anything that I could- part with. Hmm. I'm gonna wait for now. But it's good to have. It is good to have. Imagine being the kind of person who would just leave without getting that. 
So yeah, this this dungeon in general feels a lot more substantial than the a chapter one dungeon, which I mean I guess makes sense. It makes sense that <laughs> that you would like, y you know, you know, because this is the later in the game you get we got more dungeony. Though, I mean, it's not really a necessity that every chapter has a dungeon. I mean, you could argue that chapter 3 doesn't have one. But we'll see all about that. We'll see all about that. Where am I going? I probably don't want to go here yet. Yeah, I, pro I probably want to, like, go the other way and actually get the punies. Alright. Don't you fret. Mario is here to help. There was a thing here, right? In, even in the original flower fields doesn't have a dungeon true You did it yes yes now we can get out of here everybody in the hole Everybody in the hole Into the hole. Everybody's okay. Everybody's okay. <laughs> I like how some of them clearly didn't make it. <clears throat> Are you planning on completing this chapter tonight? Uh, probably. I was hoping to, at least. Okay, get in. Get in the hole again. Except this is a different hole. Okay, get- just get stuck on the ledge there. Sure, what- whatever. Definitely longer than, uh, Paper Mario 64 chapters, I think. <laughs> Possible ban evader. <laughs> okay. Uh, goodbye. I'm sorry. Okay, probably. Oh, spin jump. Was it always an FP move? Oh, now, now I gotta learn the, the stylish timing for that. Oh, woe is me. I hit the button. You don't have to believe me, but I- Oh, he's scratching. You don't have to believe me, but I hit the button. Okay, uh, duck. Everybody in the in the tree pipe. Ow! Oh wait, that doesn't that doesn't start a battle. That just damages me straight up. <laughs> hmm. I do not like how many of these dudes there are right now. Uh, Flurry, can you get rid of them? Yes, goodbye. Be gone. Yeah, this room's kind of a whole lot of nothing. 
I should make Goombella describe it, but I didn't. Okay, so there's water. Goombella, speak of this water. Speak of it. Speak of it! Yep, thank you. Okay, can you hit the swick? No. Mr. Koopy Man can't go far enough to hit the swick. Oh, I must drain. We must drain the water down here. Okay, so there's two pipe. Two pipe I can go in. Okay, but you need 101. This is the puny check gate. Puny toll booth. What is the purpose of a toll booth? Is that to, like, prevent congestion or what? I never quite understood. Oh, okay. I, I see what the deal is. See, it makes the switch go down. So you have to do this. Flush it down the toilet. Except the toilet is a tree. I mean, hey, you know, does a bear, does a bear poop in the woods, you know? And there's a treasure chest. Submerged. Shrink stomp. Many good badges. Many good- Oh, dizzy dial. Many good items. Many good everything. It is a prosperous time to be a Mario. Okay, good- Oh, no, don't go in there. Don't go in there. Hang on, I need to- I need to do this real quick. Gotta level him up. Gotta level him up. Come- come on. Come on, come on. Why they- why they not? Why they not? Okay, I'll be right back. I like the new Remember Goombella feature. Yeah, like I said though, I kinda wished it was a quick tattle so I wouldn't have to switch to her to do tattles. But I was not so fortunate. There we go. Uh, what's- oh no, what's happening? We're going down? You know, it's nothing- it's nothing too bad, you know, just elevator. I mean, granted, they, these kids have probably never seen an elevator in them in them life. So that's how you get to this room. Okay, I need it. I'm gonna need a heal for this. Let me see. That thing's gotta be around here somewhere. Boo! Uh, what's that? Whoa! Sounds like a mob. Better clear out. Gotta check the bush. And tell the president that I'm in a position to check his bush if he checks mine. Okay.
And there it is. There is the star. Mario, look! Look, look, look! It's the crystal star! What? Did he just... Hey, what's going on here? Bo, bo, bo. Man, am I lucky or what? Or am I just good? Oh, you say you need a crystal star, Lord Crump? Boom! Falls right in my lap! Still, this is humiliating! You shouldn't have been able to escape that cell. So, for insulting my awesome trap, I'm gonna repay you with a little present. Know what it is? Oh, just a little something I call a remote time bomb detonator! I'm gonna use this to bury you in those squirmy punies and rubble. Sound fun? Well, just enjoy your final minutes inside this dank old tree. And with that, pow, I'm gone. Uh-oh. Did he just say, Eek, hurry, we have to get the heck out of here. That does not stop while you're reading the dialogue. Maybe I shouldn't be doing stylish moves when time is of the essence. No! <laughs> the, the long animation! Time bomb set. Escape fast. Much more fitting music for this section, too. I don't honestly remember what played here. Oh, no, no, not Goom Goombina. Or was it just like the general panic track that this game uses? Yeah, the, the just general purpose panic. Okay, switch to Goombina. Get a quick heal. I don't think I needed it, but whatever. You won't be going any farther this way. What? Are you for real? Move it, you old geezer! What? Did you just call me an old geezer? Well, you get off talking like that. You have no respect, brat. Don't you think my... Don't think my age has a thing to do with my might. Even if it kills me, I won't let you through. I'm ready. Elder power, activate. Whoa, what's your problem, Grandma? You gonna... Are you hair tickling your brain or what? Ooh, ooh, what the... Ouch! Can't take another step. Ooh. What is, what? Is, what is time for my stupid back to start acting up? You hot-headed old coot! You dare to fire me? I can shine my boots with you! Stop right there, jerk! 
You aren't going anywhere, Mr. Stinker. Now give us the crystal star and drag your sorry self out of this tree forever. Buh, buh, buh. You guys are wild, you know that? Oh well, I guess I better shut off this timer. Okay, so one thing I want to point out is that for some reason... Uh, for some reason they removed any instances of characters calling other characters crazy. And, I mean, most of the time it's not a big deal, it, you know, it flows just as well. But this is one instance where I feel like it doesn't, because like, I, I don't know, Wild to me has a sort of affectionate tone to it that I don't think Crump would be taking in this instance. Okay, you passed. One pummeling coming up with extra fists. Metal fist, that is. Awake, Magnus Von Grapple. Time for a technological thrashing. Enjoy. Oh, I always love this boss. Are you crying yet? Yeah, sorry, but this thing isn't armed with tissues. Well, Magnus Von Grapple has that effect on people. Total weeping terror. And you ain't seen nothing yet. Check out the power on this bad boy. Whoa, he is powerful. Still, something about this metal freak just doesn't seem right to me. Keep your eyes open. Oh, the remix of this is really good, too. That's Magnus Von Grapple. It's a giant robot built by the X-Nauts. Lord Crump drives it. Max HP is 30, attack is 2, and defense is 1. Its most effective attack is one that takes advantage of its size, a smothering stomp. It can also shoot out its, with its fists, which do these super gnarly rocket punches. Its fists have a max HP of 2, an attack of 4, and a defense of 0. Its fists are super powerful, so it's best to knock them down fast. The thing about this robot is, I can't tell if it looks cool or really, really stupid. And we're not even going to discuss the color. What, you got a problem with paint? Oh! See, now that's good timing. Here it comes, suckers! Magnus Vaughn Punish! Okay, that was a waste. Hang on, I'm gonna try this. Oh, God. Oh. I am not doing well with this. Oh, it ain't over yet. This is so awesome. Check out what else this guy can do. You gonna love it. You gonna love it. This might not work out too well for you. Yeah, we're wanna, I like how it's punies and x knots like split right down the middle. Oh, it's big no time. Oh, m messed it up. <laughs> like a wedding. <laughs> Ow. Come on, come on. I wanna, I wanna... Well, that's better, but... The thing is, I'm pressing it too late. That's what keeps happening. 
<laughs> well, that, I don't know what happened. Well, I wasted all my FP. How about you? I mean, I could probably use a uh, super star move to get some back in a minute. But with my health so full, I don't know if I see the reason. Hmm, pardon me. I, I, for some reason, that didn't register to me as an attack both times it happened. I mean, I probably don't even need to do it. It might take a hot minute, but... Ugh, ugh. Not good. Can't last. Yeah, it, it's taking a minute, but, it you know, we are making... Pro you know, I can just kill him. I can just kill him. This could be the end. Thank you for money. Boy, boy. No, Magnus von Grapple. How could we lose? Remember this, losers. Oh yeah, also, they also changed Bowser calling Kami Koopa an airhead to a lunkhead for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why, but they, they, they did. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't think I mentioned that when he did it. Lord Crump summons us. We did it, Mario. Yes. Was that great or what? They're gone. This place can go back to being the beautiful place I remember. According to legend, you can have the Emerald Star, the crystal star that resided in this tree. And I got clock out now. Oh, there's like a spinning effect on the crystal star, I just noticed. And so, after pummeling Lord Crump, Mario obtained the second crystal star. With the X-Nots gone, peace once again prevailed through the great tree. The boggly woods echoed with the puny songs of joy. But this may not be the last our hero hears from the vile x -Nots. They will surely continue to stand in Mario's way and try to put a stop to his efforts. <laughs> what? Say that again. You can't get in touch with Lord Crump? You are correct, sir. We are investigating now. We should hear any time. <laughs> Sir Grotus, al please allow me to enter. 
what is it? I have a report, sir. The crystal star in the Boggly Woods has apparently been taken by Mario. <laughs> what? You must be joking. What about Lord Crump and the Three Shadows? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Unfortunately, Mario laid a beating on all of them. <laughs> hmm, disturbing. Perhaps this Mario character is not the fool I took him for. Speak up, X-Naught. What is the status of the other crystal stars? I apologize, sir. We are still searching for the other crystal stars. Unsuccessfully, sir. We knew there were crystal stars in Hooktail Castle and Boggly Woods, yet Mario claimed them first. The one we seized came from Rogueport. That means there are four crystal stars left out there. And we will have them. Keep looking. Don't let Mario beat us to the punch. Yes, sir. As I suspected, there's no reason to doubt Mario has that map. He must. Listen up, you. I want you to keep a close watch on what Mario does from now on. Absolutely, sir. Mario, I loathe you. Oh, Mario, did you even read the mail I sent you? I wonder. I wonder so many things. I wonder how everyone is doing at the castle. I Super Mario Brothers wonder. Will I never dance at the Mushroom Ball again? What will become of me? Come on. This is only like the 800th time you've done this. Oh, is this Tex doing again? Hello, Princess Peach. I am glad you came. That mail I sent to Mario, did it reach him all right? Yes, I can confirm that Mario received the mail. Is that so? Well, good. So what do you want from me today? Is there more you want to know of love? You expressed regret earlier that you would not be able to dance at a ball, correct? Were you eavesdropping? I am sorry, Princess Peach. I have been ordered to keep surveillance on you. But it is odd. When you said that, I had an impulse to dance with you as well. How my CPU would produce this impulse is inexplicable. I must find what caused it. Find what caused it? There's no reason behind such a feeling, Tech. Wanting to do something together, it's part of love. I know it. But then again, you are, well, a computer. Princess Peach, please dance with me. Wait, wait just a minute. What am I supposed to do? You say you want to dance? It's just so bizarre. I mean, how in the world can I dance with you? You have no arms or feet or moves. Would this be an acceptable dance substitute? Oh my goodness, is that me? Did you create that? Oh, all right, I guess. I must say, though, it's gonna feel weird dancing with myself. Holographic meatloaf. Wait for the button icons to light up. Uh, be able to play a rhythm game. Yep. Press the boot on. <clears throat> okay. Thank you, Princess Peach. That was very fun. Just a moment. Fun. Is this impulse I feel the concept known as fun? 
Tech, are you okay? To thank you for dancing, please make use of my communicator. Use the keyboard to send whatever message you want. I'm finished, Tech. Could you send it? The message has been sent. Please go back to your room. I want to analyze the data from this dance immediately. The data that I thought was fun. You're a weird computer. No, you are mistaken. I am the world's best and only perfect computer. Good night, Princess Peach. And now we gotta see what Bosworth's up to. <laughs> Into some shenanigans. I'm pretty sure it's just up ahead here. Right as usual, Lord Bowser. We just got word that Princess Peach was spotted in the town up ahead. Good, yes, very good. Then I'm off. Those fools don't know what's coming. <laughs> My lord, you're so super. Oh, and here you go. If any of you guys have ever heard of Paper Bowser World, this is what that's based on. You get to play like a little platform and stage as the bows. <laughs> and you get huge! You get large! It's not very long, but it, it, it leaves an impression. Oh, hey, welcome to Petalburg and... Eek! Hide, everybody, hide! Mm, what a wuss. Yes, hi, chickens. I have no need for any of you. What I do need, though, is Princess Peach. Now, where is she? Tell me this instant. Lord Bowser, over there! Bingo, Princess Peach. Man, that was easy. I found you, my princess. I, Bowser, the mighty Koopa King, offer my greeting. Now, now, none of that silent treatment. You're coming to my castle with me. <laughs> Clearly, she's so overcome with joy that she's been left speechless. The mind of a maiden is, well, rather complicated. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see. How refined, how elegant, awesome. I could go for the strong, silent type. There are too many backseat bosses talking my ears off as is. No! My, my life's treasure. I'd rather die than give up my life-size peach poster. Poster. Oh my goodness me! Didn't see that coming. Great. Just great. Now I look like the huge mighty king of guys who talk to posters. No matter what the next game ends up being, I hope they keep Cammy. Uh, me too. Some people have expressed though that they want Kemek to be there as well, but I, I think you could have both. You d have both of them. Have both of them. Uh, thank you, Mario, for everything you've done. We can go back to our peaceful way of life now. You know, son, now that we get right down to it, I'm kind of sad to see you go. I 
do love pontificating, so come on by whenever you want to sit and chat a while. Yes, please come back and visit. We'll watch for you. We'll work together from now on to prevent anything like that from happening again. Thanks for showing us how to stick together, Mario. Good luck with the crystal stars. Oh, I'm sure we'll be back again at some point. Yeah, definitely. Take care, guys. See you, Mr. Mario. Okay, and I'm gonna... I'm gonna walk back to Rogueport, I think. And then that's probably where I'll end it. But yeah, I'm I'm very curious as to what the next Paper Mario game is gonna look like. Hey, you hear that? Someone's mailing you. Very curious as to what the next game is gonna look like. <laughs> because I do think there, like I said before, I do think there's some talking going on. I don't know what the results of that talking will be, but dear Mario, I'm sure you're very concerned about me. But please know I'm fine. I'm actually more worried about you. The fiends who kidnapped me are searching desperately for the crystal stars. I'll try to learn what I can about them. I'll email again if I uncover anything, okay? You must know I miss you. Lately I've dreamt about our days back in the castle. I hope we'll spend carefree days there again soon, Princess Peach. And I'll, I'll make a cake for you. You know, you know what I'm saying? Apparently there's a thing going around suggesting that Nintendo's been holding on to this game for nearly a year. Which is funny because they ended up releasing it very close to Mario RPG. I mean, maybe it was even closer to Mario RPG originally. Oh, isn't that sweet, Mario? Yeah. Yeah. No, please leave me alone. Leave me alone. This is my, this is my victory walk. I need to get back to Rogaport. Okay. It's good every single time, baby. It is good every single time. No. Leave me alone. Oh, hang on, there's a there's a flurry thing here. Ooh, what's in here? Happy heart P. Yeah, good. Yeah, the fact that it's like the main theme is really good. Hang on, we'll, we'll, we'll reveal the next spot on the map. Now, my little Mario, it's Crystal Star time! How do you know that? We didn't tell you that! How do you keep learning this stuff? Does everybody in my party have telepathy? Everybody got telepathy except for me! Madame Flurry is the true orchestrator of everything. Alright, and the next stop is... That place up there, with the jets coming out of it and the chain tromp head. Yeah, that place, whatever that is. <laughs> oh, mercy me! The next crystal star has made an entrance. My, my, my. But correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't it up there in the sky? What does that mean?
That means beneath this town, the thousand-year-old ruins remain intact. <laughs> and that door's been sealed shut for a thousand years by the crystal stars. In order to open that seal, we have to muster the power of all the crystal stars. Perhaps I'm just daft, but why would we want to seal this treasure away at all? Did they fear thieves and brigands? If not, then what? No, that's not. Hmm? That's not what? I don't know. Frankly, please. I'm sorry, so sorry. I know that the treasure was sealed away around the time the town was destroyed. But the problem is, no one's even sure what it was that caused the town's demise. All that's written is this. Darkness stole the sky, and the cataclysm rained down. I must research this more. Assuming we'll just make... Well, you know the saying. Oh, oh, this, the saying's got the word ass in it. <laughs> oh yes, how inappropriate. In any case, what about the location of this crystal star that's floating on the map? Hmm, very interesting. Perhaps it's pointing to the floating town of Glitzville. There's a stunning arena there where great warriors engage in furious battles. Ostensibly, families go there on vacation to lounge and enjoy the fights, but behind the scenes, the richest people in the world wager on the bouts. A floating city, you say? So are we just supposed to sprout wings and fly there, darling? Do tell. A special bimp, a blimp flies there. It departs from Rogueport several times a day. The problem is getting a seat. The only way to get a ticket is through certain channels. Oh, that sounds exciting. A little on the seedy side. Show me the way. Hmm, I don't know, but I guess we don't have much choice. Word on the street is all tickets go through Don Pianta on the west side. Head west from Rogueport Main Square and you'll reach the side of town controlled by Don Pianta. He's the Pianta Syndicate head. And I heard he makes pretty regular jaunts over to Glitzville. Hmm, I like the sound of this Don Pianta fellow. I cannot wait to meet him. It may sound easy, but he's a syndicate boss, folks. The rumors about him are scary. And Don Pianta is a recluse. Just getting an audience with him will be difficult. Oh, Coopley. Mario Coops, how you boys doing? I'm just amazed. I had no idea a machine like this could be used to send messages. Technology. Wow. I'm doing great. Drinking fresh spring water, picking wildflowers, polishing my shell. This town seemed so boring ten years ago, but I see the world differently now. Yeah, I bet you do. I bet you'll like Petalburg more than you used to once you get back from your adventure, Coops. The way you headed next. I want to see the wide world. I want you to see the wide world, son. It'll be good for you. You grow, but don't grow too much. Else you might be too tall and to fit through the front door. <laughs> okay, just looking around here. I probably got to talk to that guy at some point. We got to figure out how to get. How to get. But we're not going to do that now. Oh, hey, it's Ouija. Let the, we'll, we'll hear Luigi's story. In, in a second, I gotta... Professor Fra Oh my god! Hello Mario, still working hard? Professor Frankly here, in e-form again. There's something I forgot to tell you. I highly recommend that you look into obtaining a certain badge. It's called First Attack. If you have that badge equipped, you can take care of weak co foes with the first strike instead of fully battling it out. The badge shop... The badge shop in Rogueport has it available for purchase. You can get it by exiting the second floor of the inn. Stop reading this and get yourself a First Attack badge. My lord, man, I just left. Oh, yeah, we got... Oh! I need the W emblem. I need it. I will do whatever I must. I will do whatever I must do. What do we got? Uh, the life shroom would get me a bit of money. Got nut. Is there anything here that's worth anything? Uh, 
Hmm. Oh wait, can I can I just sell it from there? Oh wow, I can. Wow. How much is that worth? 50 coins. Okay. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. So what how much was it? 420? That's pretty funny. Okay. Mm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna play on the risky side, but I'm gonna do it. Because listen, listen, this badge is very important. Four thirty-two, okay. Okay, now behold. Oh! 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 Hey, Ouija. Well, I went into Rumble Bump Volcano and got myself a marvelous compass piece. It was an incredible quest. There was danger and all sorts of adventuring. It was pretty harrowing, bro. Want to hear what happened? Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. As soon as my ship docked on the Pudding Continent, I set out for the volcano. To reach my destination, I spent several days fording through the dense jungle. Scary beasts were all over. More than once I thought I was done for, bro. I might have- I may have screamed a bit. To scare them off, you know. But as fate would have it. A blooper named Bluey heard me shrieking and found me in this one town. Bluey was on a journey on his own, but he joined me after hitting my tail. Now, Bluey's a madman. Back in his hometown, they called him White Torpedo. Yeah, he's a tough guy. Anyway, he helped me to fight to Rumble Bump Volcano. <sighs> this place was all about bubbling lava pools and heat that'd make the sun sweat. And the place was lousy with evil traps designed to protect the compass piece. The scariest one of all was this gigantic 100-foot-tall statue that stomped around. Now, the weakness of this giant statue, bro, was a red gem on its forehead. Now, I can jump high, but not high enough to reach this thing by a long shot. So I came up with this plan for Bluey to hit the weak spot. All you, man, I said. I waited for a pause in the statue's movements and hucked Bluey up there. And Bullseye, the white torpedo saved the day. That jewel got whacked. It was a critical hit. And that stone statue toppled and crumbled into pieces. Once that was done, it was an easy stroll to the room where the treasure was. Unfortunately, Princess Eclair was nowhere to be found. But I got another piece of the marvelous compass and put it in the base. Now the marvelous compass pointed west to Plump Belly Village on the Strudel continent. So I set sails once again and came back here to Rogueport to recharge. That's what happened to me lately, but I'll be heading out back out soon. No, that's good. Thank you, Luigi. Hey there, I'm Bluey, and this guy's a total liar. Don't listen to him. You heard his story, right? Well, he did try to throw me, but he completely tripped. And what happens? I end up landing in lava. Lava, man! You think that feels good? Thanks to him, you can stick a fork in me. I'm well done. My pale skin's crispified. I'll never forgive this guy. I'm gonna make him pay if it takes my whole lifetime. That's the only reason I'm still hanging around with him. You'll pay, Luigi! Does she have a tattle for him? That's Luigi's blooper friend, Bluey. It's totally weird to find bloopers on dry land. He seems peeved, though. I wonder why he looks all fried to a golden crisp. Okay, so... That'll be it for now. Thank you for joining me. And I hope you will join me again. And maybe even another time after that. And maybe, you know, if we're feeling really crazy, 
another time after that. But we'll see.